In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you to yet another absolute banger that you can pick up for less than a tenner. And apparently it smells extremely similar to another very popular fragrance, which now costs six times more than this one. This is called Hayate by the brand Latafa. And to find out all about it, stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. My name's Paul and today's scent of the day is Heyate, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it's from Latafa, which is said to smell very similar to Rasasi Hawass. Hawass was really popular a couple of years ago because it bared a, a decent resemblance to the then recently discontinued Invictus Aqua 2016. And as many people in the fragrance community will be very quick to point out, Hawass wasn't actually a, a clone of uh, Invictus Aqua uh, and instead it came out a year or so um, earlier than the Packer Band version. I've probably owned five, four or five bottles of Hawass uh, over the past couple of years, but since it became a pop, uh, became very popular, it's gone from selling for around about twenty to twenty-five pounds to now going for as much as seventy-five pounds a bottle. So that's where this one comes in, and I uh, I picked this little beauty up uh, from eBay, and this one hundred mil size bottle cost me just nine pounds ninety-nine. Okay, so into the presentation, and it comes in a, a really strong, rigid cardboard box um, in a combination of uh, gloss and matte black. And you've also got um, a little bit of uh, chrome detailing on the front as well. It has a, a lift away top, which is something you'd expect to find more on a, an expensive Tom Ford fragrance than a, a fragrance in this price point. Uh, and then the bottle's mounted into a, a velvet plinth uh, there at the bottom. The bottle design is fairly minimal, uh, but it does actually feel really weighty and uh, of a decent high quality. It's quite sleek looking with these uh, rounded edges and all four sides of the bottle are, are painted black, uh, but all the edges are clear so you can actually see the, uh, the level of the juice. On the front is the name of the fragrance and the house and that's printed in chrome and then there's a, a black slide on cap which does uh, fit on the atomizer really really snugly and secure. The sprayer is uh, a pretty decent quality really and for a £10 fragrance you really can't ask for much more than what you get with this one. I've reviewed uh, some £200 fragrances that haven't felt as well made and as premium quality as this one so 10 out of 10 for effort on this one from uh, by Latafa. Okay, so into the note breakdown and the top notes in this one are apple and bergamot. In the heart, we've got cinnamon and woodsy notes. And the base notes in this are musk and vanilla. Okay, so this opens up very tart, zesty and fresh, but there's also tons of sweetness as well. And just like what you get with Hawass, it's the apple that really jumps out as the most prominent note. It is a, a little bit harsh and synthetic smelling for the first minute or so until the alcohol uh, evaporates and everything settles down. So maybe not the wisest idea just to go straight in for a, an ultra close sniff straight after you've first sprayed it. But after about five minutes or so, you'll definitely get the resemblance to Hawass. And uh, what you get with this really is a, a fresh tart green apple and the bergamot almost jostling for position with the uh, the sweet vanilla and the cinnamon. And at first, you, you're not going to be able to decide whether this is actually a sweet or a, a fresh aroma that you're smelling. Uh, but I think of it more as like a, an apple pie kind of aroma with the, uh, the tart fruit uh, and also the kind of the sweetness of the pastry. It stays bright and sweet and fresh for the uh, majority of the life of the scent and it doesn't really change that much over time and it's only right at the very end that you'll get a hint of the mild woodiness and a, a slight dusting of the musk. I would say that it's about 85-90% to 90 similar to Hawass and it will without doubt remind you of it but uh, when you smell them directly side by side I think that Hawass is uh, just a little bit less synthetic smelling and it does produce more of a natural and uh, a better balanced aroma with uh, a slightly muted sweetness. 
But this is uh, still a really good option if you're on a, a tight budget, um, although it might be a touch sweet for some people, but for under a tenner it's definitely worth taking a punt on because I think more people will like it rather than uh, disliking it. Yeah, this scent profile always gives me uh, vibes of the summertime, but on a cool summer evening rather than uh, the high heat during the daytime. It's super fresh and fruity, but the uh, sweetness can get a little bit cloying and sickly in warmer temperatures. It'd make for a perfect clubbing scent, and it's definitely uh, better suited to younger guys in their late teens, maybe through to their late 20s. It's uh, playful uh, and a bit on the juvenile side, uh, and I get a bit of a, an apple scented shampoo type aroma from it, so it might work well as a, a gym fragrance also. Yeah, this is an order path on concentration and the performance I'd say is really good, uh, but it just doesn't quite get to the levels of Hawass. You will get an hour or two of strong projection and then it does start to sit a bit closer to the skin for maybe five or six hours, whereas I probably get about eight hours uh, of longevity out of the Hawass before I stop detecting it. But again, you've got to kind of bring yourself back to the fact that you're going to only cost, this is only going to cost you a tenner, so you can afford to give yourself a few extra sprays or, or to reapply it. You may also not want this uh, this amount of sweetness to be projecting really heavily all day and giving you an headache. So this is probably uh, a really nice balance between performance and the uh, the scent genre. Yeah, I'll sum it up by saying that if Hawass and this were priced exactly the same, I would probably go for the Hawass over this one. It is a bit more pleasant and natural smelling when you compare them directly side by side, and it maybe does perform a little bit better. But when you haven't got them side by side, this definitely uh, bears a very strong resemblance to it. And if you're on a tight budget, there's not enough of a difference between the two to uh, pay an extra 50 or 60 pounds extra for the Rasassi. This is a fantastic value for money fragrance that's going to get you loads of compliments and it'd be great for like a, a younger lad that's maybe heading off to college or uni and just looking for something cheap and cheerful that'll work, in, it'll work really well in like a wide variety of situations. For the price that you pay, I can't see how you could ever ask for or expect much more than what you get with this one and it's, uh, it gives you a really good value for money. And for me, I would say in terms of value for money, it's a straight 10 out of 10. Okay, so once again, that's about it for this latest episode. And I think I'm uh, actually going to focus my attention more on these wallet-friendly copy fragrances from now on. And over the next few episodes, uh, I will be doing many more. So if you enjoy saving a, a ton of cash and still smelling a million dollars, then uh, definitely tune in over the next few days because I've got some real crackers to tell you about. I've also been getting asked uh, lots of non-fragrance related content questions lately about things like where I get certain items of clothing from or even down to the gear that I use to produce these videos etc. So I've been kind of toying with the idea of uh, introducing a separate little playlist and calling it Mags Frags Extra just where I talk about other stuff which might interest you guys as well as maybe bringing some uh, new eyeballs to the channel. I'm always uh, buying cool little knickknacks and sometimes I just wish that I could share them on here. Uh, so if, you, if that like, sounds like something that you'd enjoy then uh, let me know down in the comments section because I do have uh, plenty of other passions apart from fragrances that I'd love to share with you all. And as always guys, if you've got any value from this video and you found it useful, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's also uh, great to hear all your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all of the fragrances that feature in these videos. So uh, definitely don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section and uh, it might help any, any newcomers to the fragrance community. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.